Yes. And I think Wells is a particularly good one for the rock G minor because of no. slurs. Yeah, exactly. Good. Would you say they knew it? Beethoven? Yeah. I mean, look, did we play any pieces without dynamics and phrasing? No. <laughs> Please. But they clearly Please. Were no. So it's more about a style and. Um, yeah, the ones that have less of other things in them. Gravatt and G minor, you know, your bow distribution is directly linked to the, the way in which you're presenting your dynamics and your phrasing. The fours and opens are a nice <coughs> um, teaching point for intonation, and the memory is a teaching point. But basically, Gravatt and G minor is kind of, you know, a, a, <coughs> a reassurance piece when you've done, you know, hard work on... Uh, Martini and Bach when you're at, and then you're like, okay, here's one that you'll be able to play in a week, basically. Anything? Particularly for dynamics and phrasing? I mean, if we think about much more basic, like obviously you are going to play some pieces without dynamics and phrasing when you first do them. The what? What is the first, sorry? The minuet. Um, the different pace here, but the very first time we get dynamics, isn't it? Um, no, that's what we're doing. Yes, very good. First echo. If you do it like a main song, you get one. I can't specify about that. Yeah. 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 Oh, come for children with dynamics. It's a rare unicorn never seen in the wild. Have <laughs> <laughs> fun. Um, particularly for the Cavot and G minor. I would say not, but yes, okay. it does. You, you're right. It does lots of um, yeah, the minuets. Um, good. Okay, so uh, if you're thinking about book three, what is the thing that is not on the board at the moment in terms of what the book exists to do? Sorry. Oh, okay. um, I was just taking my jump off. I didn't hear you. Oh, I said shifting back to the board. Yeah, shifting's on the board. Intonation. Uh, good. Minor key? Does. I don't know. Yeah, key signature. Yeah, minor keys. I mean, we have a, we have Lily, which is in the minor key, but it's. it's but it's one of more. You know. Um, Bowie? Bowie? Yeah, we have the up ups on the board. But yeah, new minor keys. Well, are we still talking about the session piece or, or just in general? Book three in general. Um, and then obviously in the bar bore you've got the minor feel, minor second. Bore. Uh, and the bar when you at and the Gabon G minor is obviously a minor. If you think about book one is where you learn to play the violin, book two is where you learn to control the bow. Uh, the bow. No, like a new thing. Very, very broad brush strokes. Changing the middle finger sound. No, like all of that is in book one, isn't it? Really, like no, it's about learning to play the fingers. Is that what you're learning? Hannah knows. Say it. <coughs> Shifting. Shifting. Oh. We said that. It's on the board already. In book two. Yes. Oh, I think we're going book three. Uh, and then in book three, what do we do? The brass thing. Yes, that's the one I was talking about. That's not on board. So book one, learn to play the violin. Learn <laughs> <laughs> to play. Here's the bow. Joe, book four. And broader 
brush stroke has learned to play the violin, learned to shift on the violin, learned to do vibrato on the violin. Yeah, so Thank you. Oh. Concerto book. Yeah. yeah? Book five?
raising. Oh, sorry. The grotto, book five. What is it? What's the new thing in book five? Which is a new thing, but it's not big enough to be this. No. Let's go to the big guy. Your slow movements are basically that's a massive part of it, isn't it? Good. Um, are you too happy being here? <laughs> Not super useful to your general thesis, but um, yes, what you just ask. Um, the last two bars. Books. 
but this is where you really need to actually put them in if you're not going to come unstuck. Mm. Um, Did you also put in um, things like point syrup? Point syrup? Yeah. Yeah. You can put in as much as you as your students will it's like, yeah. yeah, not something quite like that. Um, good. Dynamics and phrasing. Okay, well, yeah. quickly, but five dynamics and phrasing pieces. Um. In that similar, in that Gavotte and G minor, humoresque kind of way, rather than about the Bart the that they've been doing their whole life. Yeah. Where you really have to plan your phrasing. Anything more than one is a chord. 
two is a double stop, three is a triple stop, four is a quadruple stop, but mostly we just call them chords. Mm -hmm. But doubles, if you think about what the actual words are, which is ridiculously easy not to do, double stop, you're stopping two strings. Mm -hmm. So it can't be three. Yeah? So chords.
VVV. Huh? VVV. They're not V's, they. Yeah, but that's what you can say. Up close up close. Yeah, but ev- everybody who plays violin knows that that's a smartphone. Well, it's something you might forget. Repeated pops. Obviously. Obs. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 